If we look at professional football players, there seems to be a much larger number of professional football players who have gone on to develop ALS compared to the general population. Why is this happening has always been the question. What the team has discovered is that motor neuron disease, essentially what you know as ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease, may be caused by trauma to the brain, which helps explain why athletes in sports like football and soccer have been getting it at a rate higher than the normal population. I've been interested in neurodegenerative disease for at least the last 20, almost 25 years, focusing on Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's, that type of thing. The athletes came to my attention first with boxing because we had a number of boxers die who were diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, but ultimately they turned out to have this very specific, unique disorder, chronic traumatic encephalopathy. Chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE, is a progressive brain disease that is caused by repetitive blows to the head. The results of the most recent study show that in some of these individuals who develop CTE, which is a, a disease of their brain, they also develop a disease of their spinal cord. And we call that disease chronic traumatic encephalomyelopathy. The myelopathy, meaning the spinal cord, is involved. CTEM is a form of motor neuron disease. And motor neuron diseases uh, are diseases that affect how our movement is, how our muscles are. What we're seeing with CTEM is a combination of that motor neuron disease where the person can't move, as well as problems with thinking. Because parts of the brain responsible for memory and behavior, those parts of the brain are hurt by this other disease of CTE. You know, it turns out that Lou Gehrig himself had at least five concussions. He probably had a lot of other subconcussive hits to the head. Now, does that mean that Lou Gehrig had CTEM and not sporadic ALS? We don't know. And that's the goal of our research, is to find out who is it that's developing CTE and who is it that's developing CTE plus this motor neuron disease. ALS remains a very rare disease. But in the big picture of the other work that we've been doing on chronic traumatic encephalopathy, it helps us understand that parents and kids need to take trauma in sports far more seriously than we ever have before.